this is John Lias from Hey You Guys, and today we're going to be looking at one of the biggest questions that you may have after watching the latest spate of Marvel films, and that includes Avengers Infinity War. Who is Adam Warlock? Now, if you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War, please stop now. Go and see it, and then come back. If you have seen it, let's crack on. Even if you've never read a comic book, there's a very good chance you've heard of Adam Warlock. At first glance, he may not be the most recognisable character in the Marvel Universe, but the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise has had everyone talking about his big screen future for nearly four years now. Before we get to that though, who is Adam Warlock? And more importantly, why should you care? Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby in the pages of Fantastic Four number 66 in 1967, he was later revamped by Roy Thomas and Gil Kane in 1972. It was then that he became a cosmic messiah of sorts, as a synthetic being created as the ideal template for a new race of humans who would one day rule the Earth. After hatching from a cocoon, he rebelled and set off on his own adventures with perhaps his most notable storyline, coming in the pages of the Infinity Gauntlet comic book series, which, in case the title hasn't given it away, heavily inspired Avengers Infinity War. His history before that is extremely convoluted and unlikely to ever make it into a movie, but he spent years battling Thanos, and when the Mad Titan was defeated by Earth's mightiest heroes after wiping out half the universe with the Infinity Gauntlet, Adam took control of the stones, became a godlike being and ultimately formed a group to watch over them in order to ensure their power could never be abused again. With his golden skin and abilities which include flight, strength, speed and immortality, Adam is a formidable character and one who is also able to teleport, manipulate energy and even raise the dead due to additional powers he gained from the Soul Stone. And did we mention that one of his greatest foes is an evil version of himself from the future called Magus? Needless to say, Adam Warlock is a character with a lot of potential in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so should we expect to see him lend a hand against Thanos in Avengers 4 next year? If you stick around at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, you may recall that the similarly golden-skinned Aisha, the villainous leader of the Sovereign, claimed to have created the perfect weapon to kill Star-Lord and company, and named him Adam. Director James Gunn has confirmed that he wanted to include him in the sequel, but cut the character for time. So, surely he'll end up being the villain in Volume 3? Well, just like Adam rebelled against his human creators when he was born, common sense says he'll do the same to the Sovereign. And with that in mind, it makes perfect sense for us to see Aisha unleash him at the start of Avengers 4 upon realising that half her people have been wiped out in a futile bid to protect the rest of them. Realising that he has a whole universe to protect, however, Adam will no doubt join up with Earth's mightiest heroes, as he did in the comics, in order to put a stop to Thanos' machinations and save the universe. Doing that has always been Adam Warlock's priority, and when he sent the Avengers to battle Thanos in the pages of Infinity Gauntlet, he was well aware that they would fail. He simply wanted to buy time to enact his master plan and stop the villain, once and for all by getting the stones from him and restoring the countless lives he had wiped out with a simple snap of his fingers. Introducing him in Avengers 4 before having him become a cosmic Nick Fury of sorts for all those outer space adventures Marvel Studios has planned for the Guardians would be downright amazing and far more exciting than him just going through a predictable bad guy turns good story arc in Volume 3. Nothing is set in stone quite yet though, so we'll just have to wait and see. What we do know is that Adam Warlock most definitely has a future in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and even if he doesn't end up factoring into Avengers 4, the hero will indeed be crossing paths with the Guardians of the Galaxy, and possibly even blasting off into a solo adventure of his own in the highly secretive Phase 4. So that's our take on who is Adam Warlock, and why he will be a big part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe going forward. But what do you think? Do you think he'll have a big part to play? Or will he just be another generic bad guy? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen our video on the 14 burning questions we have after Avengers Infinity War, then please check it out. So thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe and do check out our other videos. And we'll see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys!